Hello YouTube and thanks for tuning in to my channel Jade Rhapsody. Today I have another episode of jewelry tutorials for you. Today I'm making a variation on the leather cord bracelet so I will be needing my round leather cord and I am using the uh, 1.5 millimeter round leather cord. Um, so I've already cut about six feet of round leather cord off. Then I'm going to cut that in half, so I'm going to have two, three, approximately three feet sections. And then I'm going to take those three feet sections and I'm going to fold them in half. Then half, so I'm going to form that a loop. A one end. And I'm just going to do that by tying a regular knot. Last time I did three strands. This is a variation on that where I'm only doing two. So I've got my loop there. And then it helps if you have something to clip your loop onto. First, I am gonna divide it into halves. So I have two thread, two pieces of cord on each side. I'm going to put just a regular knot in both piece, or both side. like to skip a little bit there. Pull in evenly. There's one knot. Do the same thing on this side. some kind of clip to clip that first loop down so it, you can pull them tight. So now I'm ready to start. So I've decided to use two different types of beads. Um, you will need scissors obviously to cut your cord. I'm going to use the scissors to hold my cord down. I'm using some large round very pretty, shiny, silver, kind of fauceted with other shapes on the side. And I'm also using some tubes. Hopefully these tubes are going to fit on my cord. And that, so I just have a tray for each type of bead. Today I'm using a ramekin and a Tupperware. So when I'm going from two to one, I'm going to put a tube on each of my middle pieces, and then I'm going to tie this single knot with just the two center cords. And if it's easier for you, you can clip the top. I don't mind just holding the top so you can see what I'm doing. So then I'm going to add my disco ball round bead and I'm going to tie another central knot underneath of it. And 
And you may need a bead reamer. This bead reamer helped me make the holes that were drilled in my disco balls a little larger so that both cords would fit through. And it also can help you feed the cord through. So you may need to use that to make your beads accommodate the size of cord that you're using. It does cause a little dust just to be aware of that. So now in our pattern we're back ready for our two tubes, two metal tubes. Didn't need to ream those out, of course. I'm only putting one cord through each of those. So the two central cords that I just tied a knot in. I have another. Set of those, and then we're gonna go back out to two outside knots. gonna complete one whole one entire set of our pattern for our new bracelet Two of them don't get really short and two of them stay really long. So I can alternate which ones I'm using as the central cord. So this time I'm using the longer two. And then I'm going to come in. And I'm going to tie that central knot. one side and then I'll flip it and I'll do the other side and then we're just going to repeat that pattern until we get to the desired length and I'll show you how we'll finish this off so we're ready to end our piece and I did just tie a knot I tied you know I did three sets of the pattern one two three for the average size wrist I tied a knot it's not big enough to keep my loop on there you can use either one of your beads, so you could use this as like a toggle for the loop, but that's not very big either. So I've opted for using one of my round beads for a loop. I did tie the end knot. I put two of my center cords through that round bead, and I'm going to tie them in another knot. I am going to use some glue. On both of these knots before I cut them off I'm gonna get glue right there on each of these knots just it's 
okay to use excess because you can always just use a paper towel. And you can just dab that off. Yeah, you, know, you just want enough on there to let it dry and seal that knot. We have both of those knots, so you want it kind of saturated. And then once you've glued it, probably going to want to let it dry for a little while, but you can trim off those ends then at that point. So I'm going to trim two here, the two that don't go through the disco bead. Get those two off. And then trim the other two here and we can use those scraps later for another project so you can just set those aside and that's the front and that's the back and it so that's it thanks for watching and stay tuned for more jewelry tutorials